So that's a pretty appreciable jump in performance. You've got Remix on node-based servers coming in at 3,300 requests per second, and you've got Bun coming in at... The last time I looked at Bun versus Node, I was rightly criticized for two big flaws that I had in my analysis. Let's see if I can do better this time at comparing these two awesome JavaScript runtimes and putting them head to head. Let's get right into it. Let me start this out by saying that I really do want Bun to succeed. I think it's great for the community that we have two JavaScript runtimes now. I think that's going to push both of them to be even more performant. Now, when it comes to my analysis here, we are going to be looking at server-side rendering or SSR. Why? Because that's what's, well, one, on the Bun homepage as the comparative metric, but two, because it's the place where Bun is going to make the most impact for you. When it comes to static site generation, Bun is only going to get run during build time, so you're not going to see it on every request. When it comes to client-side rendering, which would be the other alternative, you're only going to see that when you build your app when you're in development mode, obviously those two are important, but they're not as important as server-side rendering where you're gonna get Bun getting run every time the server gets requested for a page. It's gonna need to actually go through all the process of getting whatever data it needs from the microservices, re rendering that React tree and sending it out. That's all of the work. And that's why if you can make your server two or three times more performant, it's a big impact. It saves on server cost and it gives a better customer experience. So that's why server side rendering is so important. Now, in the original video, I took a look at Next.js and tried to compare the two between Node and Bun, but I did it in dev mode and I got a lot of comments saying, hey, you know, this isn't fair. You should go and compare these two in production mode. And so I was like, okay, I, I will remedy that. The only problem is that at this point as of today, Bun doesn't support Next.js in production mode. So I can't actually compare Node in production mode Next.js to Bun in production mode Next.js. Now, as an alternative, we could hand roll the SSR, which is what the Bun benchmark basically is, but I don't think most people are gonna wanna do that. They're gonna wanna use a framework like Next.js or Remix. And so that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna use Jacob Ebby's template and man, Jacob Ebby is just everywhere when it comes to cool new stuff. We're gonna use his remix bun template to that actually does compile and run in production mode to compare that to production mode in remix. And I think actually remix and next are a fairly good analog. So we should be able to get some good metrics out of that. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna create the remix variants using express and their own remix app server, see how those perform and then use Jacob Ebby's Remix template and see how that performs. All right, let's build out our first server and that'd be the Remix in Express mode. So over here in my bun versus node two directory, which of course is available to you on GitHub for free, I'm going to run the create Remix at latest with the Express name. Just the basics, please. I will select the Express server. I'm just gonna do JavaScript. Yes, I want you to do NPM install. Okay, let's bring that up in VS Code. And now I'm gonna bring up the terminal and go into that directory. And then from there, I'm gonna do yarn build. And then I'm gonna do yarn start. All right, it's on port 3000, let's go take a look. Ta-da, welcome to Remix. Okay, so let's actually try this out. Let's see how fast this thing is going to serve pages. That is in production mode, so clear this out. And another issue that people had with my analysis was that I used a tool called AutoCannon. Now, AutoCannon is written in Node, and the criticism, rightly, was that Node is inherently limited in how fast it can do requests. So essentially, we were testing AutoCannon as opposed to testing the actual server. So instead, what I'm going to use is a tool called OHA. It was recommended to me. And not only is it really performant and it pushes these servers to their edge, it's also really cool to look at. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna do OHA and I'm gonna give it 10,000 iterations. And yeah, we're gonna point it at HP localhost 3000. Isn't that cool? Look at this thing. That is amazing. Okay, so we are getting a 14 millisecond response time essentially. 
So that's our latency, and we're getting 3,291 requests per second. So let's go and log that. So we'll say that this is Remix plus Express. Our requests per second are 3,291, and our latency is about 14 milliseconds. So there you go. Cool. Now let's try their Remix app server. Isn't that neat? That is such a cool tool. I love it. Oha. Let's remember that for my future stuff. Okay, let's go back up a directory. And this time we're going to use their app server. So just the basics. This time I'm going to use the Remix app server. JavaScript. Yes. All right, looks good. Let's go into that directory. Remix SSR with their app server. I'll do yarn build and yarn start. All right, let's take a look. 3000. There we go. It's running. And let's hit it up with the OHA. Okay. So now we've got mm, 15 millisecond and around the same. So 3378 with a 15 millisecond latency. So not a lot of difference there. 3378, about 15. And this was Remix plus their own app server. Actually, let me zoom this up a little bit so we can all see it. Eh, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now, all right, let's try out button. Let's see how we do. Okay, so let's go back over here to our VS code, go back up a directory, and then we are going to create using bun, using Jacob Ebby's remix bun testing, a remix SSR bun project. Okay, let's go in there, SSR bun, and then we will do bun run build. And then we will do bun run start. All right, back on 3000. We don't expect to have the same thing. Oh, there you go. Hello, bun. Remix bun. All right, well, let's give it a try. So let's go back over here to OHA. And again, run it. Okay, so about 14 milliseconds and 4,300 per second. All right. So not bad, but is this fair? Because we're not actually comparing the same output between these two. So let's go and rectify that. Let's go make the bun stuff basically give us the regular Remix homepage. So to do that, we go over here into app. And the first thing we're going to do is tweak this root a little bit. All right, so let's jump down here and we will go down into our body section and remove a bunch of stuff. So we're going to remove this form and the header and then a bunch of that stuff and then over here in our routes we want to go to the index and we want to replace that with a much simpler index that has the welcome to remix in it all right so there we go looks pretty good with the deep dive jokes app tutorial do our build do our run start let's see what we've got Okay, that looks a lot more like what we had originally. Nice. Okay, so now let's do our OHA again. Let's see how we go. Woo! Screaming. Whoa! Eight milliseconds of latency with 6,400 requests per second. Let's take a look and put that in our spreadsheet. See how that stacks up there. So we've got bun at 64, 17 with about an eight millisecond latency now let's do some graphing here so let's go and compare these insert a chart so that's a pretty appreciable jump in performance you've got remix on node-based servers coming in at 3300 requests per second and you've got bun coming in at 6500 requests per second pretty much almost a doubling in performance that is really cool Okay, but it wouldn't be me if we didn't go and add on some extra stuff into the mix just to see. I mean, the original video also brought fresh into the mix. So I'm going to bring in my new friend, Astro. We bang it! And we'll see how that one performs as well. Okay, let's go over and back to our VS code. And I'll go up to the top level directory again. And in here, I'm going to create a directory called Astro SSR with node. And I'll do just the basics. I'll yes, add dependencies. 
and no, we do not want to do a Git repository. And there we go. Okay, cool. So let's go into here and we'll go into our pages. I'll find our index and you know what? I'm just going to start off by just pasting in the remix template. Just the, again, we are kind of at parity and then I'm going to go into that directory and I'm going to do yarn build and then I'm going to do yarn preview. All right, we're up on localhost 3000. Let's take a look. Okay, pretty good. So let's go back over here to our warp and let's try it again. Oha on 3000, hit it. Okay, so 13,000 requests per second with a three millisecond latency. But come on, this is not a fair test because what's actually happening here is static generation because by default, Astro is statically generated. So there's no React. There is nothing server-side rendering going on here. So yes, it was fun while it lasted, but this is not a number that we can stick to. Okay, all right. So let's go back over here and let's rectify that by first off doing MPX Astro add and then adding node. And that's gonna turn us into a node server. And then we're going to MPX Astro add React because we're gonna do this with React components. Now I'm gonna create a component called page.jsx, paste in my code, which is basically just gonna be the usual page that we had before, the remix page. And then over here into our index.astro, I'm going to bring in that page and then use it. And then I'm going to yarn build this. Now that's created a dist folder that has a client and a server in it. And in that dist server directory is a server entry, but it's not actually a server. So I need to go create another file in here called server.mjs, paste in our server code. This is from astro.js node. I literally just copy and pasted this. And then with that, I can do node server.mjs. And now we've got a running server. Let's take a look, localhost 3000. And away we go, cool, and let's run it. So this is doing SSR. This is not statically built as it was before. So 14 milliseconds with 3,700 requests per second. Okay, so let's mark that down see what we got. So this is Astro plus node. And again, we are in the 3,765, about 14 milliseconds of latency. Okay, so basically the equivalent of Remix at this point. But let's try Deno. Let's see if Astro plus Deno can do even better. So go back over to our VS Code, go back up a directory, close out some of these files. Now I'll create an Astro called Astro Deno. Just the basics, please. Yes, install dependencies. And relaxed. And now we'll go into that directory and we'll do MPX Astro add Deno this time, as well as React. And now we want to basically do the same thing. So I'm going to copy and paste some of these files. I'll go over to the node version and go into our components, grab page, paste that into our Deno, and then do the same thing with our pages and base that cool and then I'll do a yarn build that is going to give us our disk directory which again has a server in it that has the entry mjs so again I need to create a server file so I'll go create that one called server.ts this time and paste in our server code that's going to grab the server from deno land as well as our entry point and run it let's try to try so let's do Deno run with that server. That's running on port 8085. I can actually fix that. So let's go do that. So go over here to our Astro config. Change that to be, come on, port 3000, y'all. Okay, there you go. So let's do yarn build again. And now we'll do Deno run again. Ah, there we go. And now we're on 3000. Cool. Let's go check it to make sure that it is what it is. Yep, perfect. Woo, man, that was fast. Okay. And uh, let's go OHA one more time. Okay, 
So seven milliseconds with 6,400 requests per second. So big difference. All right, Astro plus Deno is clocking in at 64.20 with a seven millisecond latency. Woo! Hot dang! All right, pretty good. All right, getting us back into our bun category. So bun versus Deno, pretty interesting comparison there. But of course, come on, on the first one I brought in fresh. So let's bring in fresh and let's try that out as well. So let's go back over to our VS code. Stop, come back up a directory. Now we'll create our fresh. We'll call this one fresh SSR Deno. This is always running on Deno because it's fresh. Do I want Tailwind? I do not. Do I want VS code? Yes, I do. All right, here we go. Let's take a look inside here. So in Deno, you have interactive islands. So I'm going to define this as an island. Call this page.jsx, paste it in there. And it's our usual remix. So we're having fresh say that it's remix. Okay. And then over here in the routes, we're going to go bring in our page and just have our page here. Now, I got to say, so this is Preact, right? It's not React. It is the same API, but it is a different, more trimmed down library. And let's see if we get trimmed up performance out of that. All right, let's go into our fresh SSR deno. And then in here, we're going to do deno run. We're going to give it all the permissions because we're just running locally. And then I will go down here to main.ts, which is our main entry point. Hit go. Oh, looks like I did TSX there. Let's go and make that JSX. Fine, whatever. Okay, here we go. Aha, running on 8,000. 8, we'll, we'll give it that. Let me go see what, it, oh, that looks there. So it, it is fresh showing that it's remix. I don't know, whatever. It's the same thing across all of these. So that's the important part. All right, let's go and check out with OHA where this is going to go. So we we'll go 8,000 this time. Whoa. Whoa. Three millisecond latency time with 15,716 requests per second. Yeah. And yes, Preact makes a bit of a difference. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> let's add that to our spreadsheet. Fresh at, what was it, 15,716? It's like an entirely different order of magnitude. Almost. No, not really. But yeah. Okay. Three milliseconds. Wow. Okay. Let me make that remix plus button there. Just make sure. All right. So everybody knows what's going on. Okay. So uh, there you have it. A bunch of awesome platforms compared in number of requests per second and also in latency. Obviously, Bun's doing a really good job here. But of course, Fresh is the overall winner. But if you don't want to go with Preact, then I guess Fresh is off the table. So among the React variants, either Astro plus Deno or Remix plus Bun is going to give you some awesome performance, about double the performance of Node. So pretty cool stuff. Of course, realistically, are you going to be getting any of these numbers? Probably not. This is running on a Mac M2 Silicon, so that's a very fast chip. Is that what your web server is going to be running on an EC2? I'm guessing not. Also, these aren't really realistic servers. They're not going off and hitting microservices. And microservices are really the constraining factor here. If your microservice takes 100 milliseconds to respond to you, then that's going to be a gating factor in the overall pages per second that your server can pump out. So make sure that you are realistic when it comes to performance metrics like this. Of course, I would love to hear from you, your comments, your questions. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you really like the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.